I still remember when the Huawei brand was new on the phone market and in the beginning they just released some various small budget phones that only create very little attention. Before that Huawei was mainly known for USB sticks, routers and other network accessories. But only in a few years Huawei have managed to create a stronger image and the Huawei brand is today more accepted than ever. Huawei really got people's attention when they first released the Ascent Mate 7 and later with the Honor brand also released the Honor 6 which was a great success. I'm Styler and this is the Huawei Honor 7 Black from Flossmall.com. So the Honor is the sister brand of Huawei and was founded in 2014. Besides Honor 6 we also saw the Honor 3C and rumors now also state that Huawei will be behind the next Nexus device from Google. So everything right now seems to be perfect for Huawei. At first glance the Honor 7 looks like a smaller version of the Ascent Mate 7. Especially the metal backside with the fingerprint reader looks similar. But in fact the Honor 7 is faster, has a better size and much better hardware. So I will not bore you with all the hardware specifications, for these please have a look below in the video description. But the highlights are the fingerprint reader on the metal backside, a 5.2 inch JDI full HD display, 20 megapixel Sony IMX230 camera with dual color LED flash and the very fast high silicon Kirin 935 octa-core processor. Let's have a look what you actually get together with the phone. So the phone is here and uh, you get a clear plastic cover, you get uh, the power plug adapter, you get here the USB on the go cable, you get wall charger, micro USB cable, you get two screen protectors and uh, you also get here a small pin to open up the SIM tray and some papers from, from uh, Huawei and a VRP card. So that's it. Let's have a look at the phone design. On the top we find the light and proximity sensor, a 8 megapixel front camera, the ear speaker together with a multicolor notification LED and last but not least a good front LED flash for selfies. From the factory it comes with a pre-installed screen protector. The phone has a 5.2 inch full HD JDI display with 423 ppi and the display is in my opinion very good. It has good sharpness with very high brightness and nice colors. In the bottom we find nothing because this phone uses on-screen software buttons, more to that later in the video. On the back side, which is non-removable and made of aluminium, we find a 20 megapixel Sony IMX230 rear camera together with a dual LED flash and the fingerprint reader. Inside the phone we also find a 3100mAh battery, which is more than enough for power users and one whole day. And further below, last we have the cool looking Honor logo. In the bottom of the phone we find the micro USB port with USB on the go support and something that looks like two speakers but in fact one side is the speaker and the other side is just the microphone. On the right side we find the volume rocker together with the power button and these are in a really good quality, feels good to press. In the top we find a sensor for the IR blaster, the 3.5mm headphone jack together with a noise cancelling microphone. And last on the left side we find the dual SIM tray which you have to open up with a small pin. And um, it's not possible to use two SIM cards and a SD card. You can only use two nano SIM cards or one nano SIM card and one SD card. So you have to choose. And we also find something called a smart key that you for example can hold to start up the flashlight or double tap to start an app. This button can freely be set up to nearly anything you want. Okay, so let me open up the SIM trays. And uh, here you can see how the tray looks. You can use two nano SIM cards or one nano or one SD card. Now let's have a closer look at the phone and uh, you can see the display is really dark when the screen is off, totally black and uh, the phone support double tap to wake. Let's try it out, see it here and uh, we have here directly access to the camera but you can also swipe up here and get a menu. We have for the music player, 
we have remove share and settings we have some quick toggles for the flashlight and the sound recorder and calculator okay let's just swipe down again and let me also try for example off screen gesture m see that one here and because right now i'm using the fingerprint lock i have to insert my code but you can see the music player is started here and let me just try to unlock with the finger instead yeah so you saw that here actually it's very very quick and fast let me try again so you just place your finger on the fingerprint reader on the back side and um, it will um, wake the screen together with unlocking it at the same time so it's really really nice and you can also use the fingerprint reader to swipe down and you will get the, the quick toggles or the notifications and uh, if you have some notifications here you can double tap on the fingerprint reader and uh, the notification so here will be cleared if you hold down the fingerprint reader on the back side let me try this here it will take you back to the home so this is uh, like a home key actually and uh, if you just press one time it is like a back key so this is back one tap and hold is home so um, it's really nice and uh, you can also see here that the ui is very very smooth and um, as you may notice also is that there is no kind of, of uh, app drawer uh, all the icons all the apps are placed on the desktop but you can put them in folders i have done that for some as you can see and um, let's just have a look here on the on-screen buttons so these are software buttons uh, you can click here to hide them swipe up to show them again so if they are kind of annoying you can just hide them in any app for example in a game uh, in a full screen app or something so that's a pretty nice feature i would say because um, they are there but hidden and uh, here of course we have no kind of buttons no hardware buttons at all so that is something you have to deal with some people don't like it uh, for me i don't care uh, as long as it, it is working good i can use it and uh, so far uh, these keys always work perfect so yeah for me it's okay let me just try to swipe in here so the desktops and we see wallpaper widgets transitions and more settings let's see here in more so we can change the layout we have some shake options batch app icons home screen loop let me enable this home news feed so the news feed is some kind of like almost like blink feed but uh, this will be in fully chinese so not really useful for me but you can see it here and as told it's like blink feed you can read different news so let me just get back to the settings let me disable the home news feed again let me enable home screen loop let me just try to, to test it out yeah now i can loop here fine let's get inside the transitions so here you can see different kind of transitions um, let's try to test out here fine and let me see widgets good wallpapers shake to chains random chains okay we have here different stock wallpapers in the phone live wallpapers and uh, you can also just swipe down here on the center and it will start up the search search apps contacts or messages Let me also try another finger, this one for example. Let's just lock. So I'm going to try this one. 
yeah not working at all you can see but let me try the correct finger and it is working and uh, on the left side we also find something called the smart key so uh, you can actually hold this and uh, I set this up to start up the LED flashlight or you can double tap and this will start up the smart care so here you can see the weather and the temperature in Celsius degree you can see the phone usage so you can also set uh, other apps or other th stuff to happen when you double click you hold or you just press one time so I will show this in the settings later but um, it's really nice uh, this is an, a special key I would call it that you can freely set to what you want and let me also show you here the one hand operation just swipe here on the software on screen keys and uh, you can see the display is getting smaller so here you can reach uh, the stuff better with one hand let's have a look inside the themes so there are of course some stock themes on the phone and you can see them here you can also click on customize and uh, you can see you can customize the lock screen style, unlock animation, lock screen, home screen, icons and fonts. And uh, here you can see the theme store, so you can download extra themes, different styles. Let's see, top. Yeah, and mine. So these are local themes, these are online themes. Let me just show you here inside the themes. So you can see the icons are different. Lock screen is different. You can also try this one here. Let's just see the previews. So next up, let me try out the vibrator tester. So the vibration is easy to feel, so that's good if you have the phone in your pocket. It's very uh, hard and direct, so a good vibrator in the phone. And uh, now let me try to show you the viewing angles. So let us try here from the bottom, you can see, very sharp picture, and still vivid. Let's try from the side, from this side here, absolute amazing viewing angles, very good clear screen with the JDI display, so good viewing angles. And let's have a closer look to the reception, you see the Wi-Fi reception here is in top and the network reception is also very good so far I did not have any kind of network reception problems uh, the Wi-Fi I would say is um, better than average uh, it's not the best I have tried but uh, it's very good um, the range is good and the speed is also more than enough so let me try out a test call Let's try the proximity sensor. Okay, it's fast. You have two new messages. Zero saved messages. To listen to today's messages, press one. To listen to all the messages, press four. You have no your voicemail box. To listen to your messages, press 1. To change your personal options, press 2. Okay, so you could hear the sound here also from the ear speaker. It's clear and loud. So the phone also has a notification LED and actually it supports multicolor. Uh, the notification LED would uh, blink here. And uh, I will test this later in the video, just uh, stay tuned. 
uh, with the light manager but uh, what this phone uh, is lacking is uh, NFC there is no kind of NFC or even not a hot knot so that is something that uh, you have to deal with uh, but for me personally uh, I don't use NFC or hot knot for anything I'm fine with the Bluetooth for transferring files so yeah but just pay attention to that and um, next up I'm going to show you a feature called uh, where are you voice wake up let me just try to place the phone here and uh, let's say that um, I have misplaced the phone somewhere in in my room my uh, my living room so I'm go just going to say a command hello phone and uh, you notice that it wakes up the, the display sorry didn't quite catch that Hello phone, where are you? I'm here. Okay, I found you. So this is a command uh, you can use to find the phone. And um, it's really convenient because uh, if you misplaced the phone, you, could, you can just find it very easily with uh, this command, just saying hello phone. It will um, wake up and you, then you just say where are you <laughs> and uh, it begins to, to sing and ring so that's a funny gimmick and um, I actually used it one time where I couldn't uh, remember where I placed my phone and uh, it did uh, work perfectly but uh, one thing I also noticed is that if I um, was watching TV sometimes it uh, accidentally couldn't uh, activate on the phone because someone uh, was saying something uh, similar to the command word uh, that wakes the phone up in the tv so that's of course not so good but overall a funny gimmick hello phone hello phone please make sure this contact exists and try again so now let's have a look inside the camera app and uh, the camera comes with 20 megapixels and uh, the, the pictures are really really good in my opinion but let me show you here some of the settings and the features we have photo we have beauty mode light painting I believe we click here yeah so here are different modes to choose from and let me just try to go to this side we have video mode good food so use this mode to take appealing close-up shots of your food okay let's get back to the photo let's see inside the filters color filters nice okay and let me just try to show you here also some of the settings so we have slow motion panorama super night so super night is a mode where the picture is better in the night but you need to hold the phone steady when you're using the super night because it will count down from 20 seconds and make the picture brighter we have hdr all focus best photo watermark time lapse object recognition and settings let me just see we also have audio note online translation let's see in the settings resolution 20 megapixels okay let's see we also have here gps tag preferred safe location perfect selfie and so on touch to capture there are a lot of settings let me show you a picture I took to test the all focus mode. Let me just turn it around. So right now you see that the focus is in the background actually. So let me click here. And you now see that the, the watch, the numbers in the watch is very clear. So the focus is here right now. And the background is kind of blurry, but I can click here to focus on the back instead so this is the all focus mode 
And uh, let me also show you here a picture. This is a normal night shot picture in the night uh, with the normal uh, camera app. And here is with the super night mode. So you can see a huge difference. But this picture here took about uh, 20 seconds to, to uh, be created because as told before, it, um, you see some kind of countdown where you have to hold the phone uh, totally uh, steady while this one was taken in one second, of course, but it's much, much darker. And here are some normal night photos. Here a normal, and here with the super night. Let's have a look on the sample pictures. And uh, of course, I will provide some sample pictures uh, below in the video description. I will provide a link where you can find uh, a lot of uh, tests I have made. So please have a look there. Overall, I think that um, the camera, the rear camera is really good. You can see there are a lot of good details. So regarding the front facing camera, it's also really good. And actually the LED flash on the front, you see it here, can also be adjusted. So you can to choose to have this on all the time while you take a selfie or you can just uh, set it to be uh, like a flash. But um, I recommend to set it like a flash because uh, somehow it seems to be stronger if you use it as a flash and, um, as if you use it as a, a torch or a lamp. And uh, let's also have a look inside the settings for the video camera. Resolution, Full HD, HD or VGA and so on. You can set the preferred safe location. We also have object tracking, stabilizer, HDR video. So the stabilizer is working great and uh, the, the video is a lot more uh, steady and calm when uh, you're using this. Definitely working good. Let me also show you the shortcut to the camera. So you just double tap on the volume key, double tap, and you can see opens the camera and takes a picture really quick. And now let me check out the flashlight. So just hold the smart key here and you can see very bright dual LEDs on the back and they are also dual tone. Gives a lot of bright light. So if you're using earphones and want to listen to music on the phone, the quality is just amazing. I have rarely heard such a good sound on a smartphone. It's very loud and clear with good depth and bass. I really enjoy listening to music with the Honor 7. And uh, now let's have a look in the settings. So first of all, we have the quick toggles. We have here the notifications. They will be displayed here in a timeline. That's also really nice. So let me go into the settings, we see general or all, let me choose all. We have the dual card management. So here you can set up two cards. You can set up where, for the 4G, the 3G slot on each card. Let's get one back. And then we find home screen style, standard or very simple. We have the display, color temperature, you want it cooler or warmer. Font size, we have here the indicator light, display carrier name in the top, display network speed, this one here, and this is the carrier. We have sound, and um, you can see here the sound also can be set up uh, on each card, SIM 1 and SIM 2, different um, ringtones. We even also have something called karaoke, then we find the storage, SD card, OTG, USB on the go. Set the default location. We have a storage cleaner. Let's see in battery. We have support for fast charging. Battery status in percentage. Then we find power saving. 
So in power saving you can choose uh, performance, smart or ultra, protected apps, let's have a look. So allow 10 apps to keep running after the screen is turned off. Okay. We have some permission manager, security, fingerprint ID. Let's have a look inside here. So first of all, you can set this, uh, for example, uh, touch one time, gets back, uh, hold, gets back to home. You can use it to take photos or videos. You can answer call with it. You can also stop the alarm, recent apps, slide up and uh, show notification panel. Let me just try it out here. Slide down, slide up. Yeah, so this is also working great. You can also just slide up to clear all. Let's see in fingerprint management. And here you can set it up to unlock the screen. Access app lock, you can lock apps. So I have learned two fingers, fingerprint ID one and two. Then we have manage apps. Let's see the RAM consumption. See that one here and 613 megabyte used for the system apps 425 free 1.7 gigabyte. So that's really good. Totally the phone has three gigabyte of RAM. Let's also try to click here and see show cached processes. Okay. See it does change. Then we have the smart care. So this can be activated with the smart key. We have the voice wake up. So you can say, where are you? And you can also change the, the command wake up keyword. We find motion control. Flip to mute, pick up to reduce ringtone, raise to ear, shake, tilt, and so on. Double touch, this is the double tap to wake. Draw, this is the off screen gesture, so you can draw an M to start the music player, for example. We have navigation bar, so you can change the on screen software buttons. One handed UI, you can slide here to use one handed. UI, we have more, suspend button, smart cover, smart headset control, some settings for the headset controls, smart screenshot, tap twice with your knuckle to take a screenshot, okay, smart cover, you are using a cover suspend button so this is some kind of wheel with some shortcuts then we just have date and time language and input so in language it will support all kind of languages here then we just find update so it's support wireless OTA have about phone so we see the model number we see the build number the CPU RAM phone storage resolution Android version 5.0.2 kernel and the EMUI version so that's it for the settings and uh, the phone does come with some Chinese apps and uh, the video player, for example, was mainly made for the Chinese market. You can see we have something in Chinese here, but you can of course also see your local videos. We have some uh, special apps like, for example, here, High Care, Huawei Cloud Plus, Honor Wallet, Vmall, Huawei Club and Health high study, honor gifts and so on. So these are some special uh, Huawei or honor apps, but mainly these are made for the Chinese market. 
let's see in health so this one here can monitor your your steps how many uh, meters you are walking per, per day how your sleep is blood pressure and blood sugar and so on so I'm not using this but um, it's a fun gimmick and uh, the phone does come with the play store as you see here and the gaps but uh, if you for some reason should uh, lose uh, the gaps or the play store you can always go into the Chinese store on the phone and uh, download the play store and also be sure to download contacts um, and after the, uh, that you install this uh, you will again have the play store and uh, all your contacts will be synced just fine with Google so uh, it's really easy to install uh, Google if uh, you are not ha uh, having Google on the phone but uh, mine came with the play store out of the box let me also show you here inside the tools here we have here magnifier torch calculator notepad but we also find smart controller for the IR blaster let's try out the smart controller so I already set up my Samsung TV and this is working really great I can change the volume channel mute menu and use the keys and uh, the sensor seems to be really strong because I can use this uh, several meters away from the TV so it's uh, working nearly as good as uh, the original Samsung controller so you see the magnifier here let's try my finger here and it can magnify that's a very fun gimmick let me try okay so we try to focus and believe with this ruler here yeah funny now i'm going to run some different test apps and a game i will turn up for the background music so let's get started
So we are now in the end of this review and I will now list some of the pros and cons. So first of the pros. First of all, I really like the size of the phone. 5.2 inch is perfect for my taste. Not too big and also not too small. It is very pocket friendly in this size. The design is maybe not as good as on the Huawei P8 which has a little more style but still it looks cool and the backside made of aluminium feels really premium. The build quality of the Honor 7 is very high. It also includes things like IR blaster, one touch unlock with the fingerprint reader that also supports swipes, it has multicolor notification LED, a lot of hardware sensors and double tap to wake all very convenient features to have in a phone. The built-in speaker in the phone provides very high quality sound, it is clear and loud and uh, almost similar to what you find in flagships from Samsung, LG or HTC. Another thing I'm very pleased with is the camera, the 20 megapixel camera shoots some really good sharp pictures with a lot of detail, while video in my opinion is only average. The phone UI can be customized in nearly any style you want from the icons, lock screen, colors and fonts and inside the theme store it is possible to download a lot of additional themes. And last the battery and the performance of the phone is overall very good, it has plenty of power and RAM and handles games, apps and the UI very fast. So to the cons are that like on many Chinese phones there is uh, unfortunately no LTE Band 20, but still mobile data is fast and very good, so uh, that is something you just need to deal with. It only features on-screen software buttons, not something all like to use, but that is very typical for Huawei and Honor, some would call it Nexus style. Also the bezels are not the thinnest I have seen, it doesn't look bad, but they could maybe be a little bit thinner that would for sure make the phone look better. The fingerprint reader is working great, but because it is on the rear side, you always need to pick up the phone first if you want to use it, even though you can also wake the device with double tapping on the display. The phone unfortunately also comes with a lot of bloatware, not some that actually interferes and you don't notice them when using the phone, but still they are there and take up some space in the memory. I just put all in the folder and try to forget about them. And last, the built-in browser for some reason sometimes gave me small hiccups. I'm not really sure why, but uh, I then just used Google Chrome instead and everything was fine. Well, that's it for the review. Remember also to check out my blog, you find the link in the video description. If you have any questions, please comment below, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.